Hey everyone, we got a cool video for you today on the channel. It's going to be Ted Miller showing us how he sets up his horizontal rubs. He's been out on his farm these past couple weeks sort of setting up his new horizontal rub locations and he filmed some pretty good tips on how he does it. So I'm going to show you that on today's video and then next Monday night Ted's going to come over and do a live podcast here in the studio with us talking about everything in this video. So if you're watching this, make sure and post questions and comments down below throughout the video so that Ted can answer them on next Monday's podcast. The podcast will be live on Facebook. We'll probably also post the video to YouTube and then we'll put the audio versions on Podbean, iTunes, Stitcher, uh, wherever else it is. And please remember to go down there and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Well, it's thick in here, that's for sure. We're just preparing for the 2018 season. We come in here to this spot. There was a natural scrape and licking branch here last year. It's in a really good spot off of a bedding ridge. We got a food source up here. Uh, I think it's a soybean field this year. Bedding ridge, and this is just kind of on the back side of it. Real thick cover in here. It's the same spot that I had a couple of horizontal rubs set up in last year and had quite a bit of action on them. I just think this is a little better spot to get one to be working it in the daytime. It's just real thick cover. And what I'm going to do today, I'm just enhancing the spot. The scrape is, was in, is in real hard clay there. So I'm going to go down here at the creek and get some nice sand bucket of nice sand and then I'm going to mix that with some real loamy timber soil here mix that together and add that to the scrape probably replace the licking branch here it's a hedge tree which is not ideal for a licking branch but I'll probably come in here latter part of September and put a grape vine for a licking branch and then we're gonna set two poles for the horizontal scotch pine horizontal limb that we'll put up you know first part of October time frame but we'll have everything done all we'll have to do is come in here and attach the limb to the post that I'm gonna to set today so we're just enhancing the spot just giving them everything they need an ideal scrape an ideal licking branch and then a ideal rubbing limb the horizontal rub and hopefully set up a couple of different trail cameras on it and get some good footage this fall and maybe get a buck shot out of here. It's the idea. Well, pretty much got everything done. Got the nice soil for the scrape. We set the two posts for the horizontal rub. We'll come in here first of October, like I said, and put up the Scotch pine horizontal limb. But but the posts will already be set. And latter part of September, we'll probably come in here and put a 
great vine here for a licking branch. So that'll have the ideal licking branch. But what we're doing, like I said before, we're just making a good spot, trying to make it better. But uh, hopefully any buck in the area will start his sign post here and he'll know about it. Other bucks passing through will have everything they need to leave their sign. What it is, it's just a sign post rub and scrape, I guess. So we're going to set up a couple of trail cameras on it. And we got a tree stand over here already set in a hedge tree. We'll probably stay out of here until the 1st of October. Like I say, put up the horizontal limb, leave it alone until the latter part of October. Then come in here and hunt it and hopefully we can maybe get a buck shot off of it. If nothing else, get some good video of bucks working the setup. So it should be a good spot.